Hey, what's up you guys? Today we're gonna to show you how to install a trailer hitch onto a Chrysler Town & Country. You can use that trailer hitch for bike racks, cargo carriers, and even towing trailers. So let's go ahead and show you how that's done. You will need the tool seam here to complete this installation. All right, so before we get started, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our hitch. So we're gonna be using these three attachment points on each side and this one right here. It'll be using carriage bolts towards the front and they'll be using two weld nuts on the rear of the hitch. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you where those access points are on that vehicle. Okay, over here on the driver's side, we'll take a look at the access points right here. We're going to remove this bolt right here. It is an 18 millimeter socket that we will be using. Now, we're gonna use this access hole, and as we can see, the block fits, but the head of the bolt gets stuck, and it's just barely. We're gonna go ahead and open it up a little bit by using our air saw right here, and it's just gonna be a little tiny notch. All right, let's give it a shot and see if our bolt fits, and it does. All right, we're gonna take our fish wire, and we're just going to feed it through our hole right here, and we'll get it over here to the access hole. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take our bolt and block, and we'll just thread it on to the fish wire. And we'll take the block itself, and we're just gonna throw that in. And pull our bolt in, and then we'll just pull out right there. And we're just gonna leave that fish wire on. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our stud, and we're going to thread it into that weld nut right there. Now you're just going to tighten it by hand and you're going to want to go all the way until this plate is flush with the frame. Alright, all right, last thing that we're going to do on this side is we're going to remove this bolt right here. We'll be using the 18 millimeter socket again. Alright, we're going to go ahead and repeat the same process on the passenger side. and now our vehicle is prepped to bring the hitch into position. Now, we are gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have a jack that you'll be using to bring your hitch into position, uh, we recommend that you do get a extra pair of hands to help ease that part. So let's go ahead and do that. And now when we pull it up, we're gonna take our fish wire and we're going to feed it through our second hole to the front and also do the same exact thing here on the driver's side. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and line up our attachment points. All right, now with our attachment points lined up, we're gonna go ahead and take our existing bolt that was already in place and we'll put that back in the most rear hole right here. And we're just gonna loosely Get that started. All right, we're gonna repeat the same over here on the passenger side. Okay, back over here on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and put our hardware onto the stud. This block will just go right up there. And then next, we have a locking washer to help hold it in place. And then we have our nut. Just get that started. Now on our back carriage bolt, we'll go ahead and take our fish wire off. All right, on the carriage bolt, we'll be using a conical tooth toothed washer. 
Now the teeth on this will grab onto the hitch itself and help with a tighter grip. So we'll be putting that with the teeth facing up towards the hitch. And then we will take our nut and secure it. And we will repeat the same on the passenger side. Okay, now that we have everything into place, we're gonna go ahead and tighten down our bolts. We're going to use our torque wrench and we're gonna tighten each bolt down to the manufacturer specifications as detailed on, on the instructions. So we're gonna use an 18 millimeter socket with a five inch extension on the most rear. Now our stud right here, uh, we'll be using a 19 millimeter socket. So we'll go ahead and tighten that down. And then our carriage bolt, we'll be using a 18 millimeter socket. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now that we have the vehicle on level ground, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the measurements for your hitch accessories. All right, so this hitch is a two inch receiver and going from the pinhole right here, the pinhole towards the end of the bumper is six inches. And then moving to the ground to the top of the receiver is 12 inches. And these measurements will help you decide which accessories will work best for your vehicle, such as a ball mount for towing a trailer or a bike rack with a vertical post so it doesn't mess with your vehicle at all. So that is how you install a trailer hitch onto a Chrysler Town & Country. Thank you for watching our video. Have fun, be safe, and enjoy the outdoors. To learn more about the products seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com. Yeah.